they were looting an area, you can totally get cut off from it because the plane goes hard north, hard south, or something like that. But so far, everything has been viable with the exception of maybe Valdemar for Optic in this one. Optic did jump early, so there still is a chance they grab cars and go there anyway. We've seen them loot south of La Zona as well, so mm -hmm. they can do both. They can even split it if they want to. Go spot the Pariso. Let's see where they're going to go. Vitality won the opening game, Cloud9 won the second, and Toby won and Esquire will find out who gets the third chicken dinner. Yeah, we're, ca we're kind of just chilling here to the, to the yeah. sounds of the waves. It's very soothing. You know, we're in like a, it's like one of those soundtracks you hear just before you go to sleep, the right? The white noise, yeah. yeah. Just wails. And a little, a little rainforest will come in as well. Yeah. And it's like, <laughs> whales are like, that's our <laughs> southeast Wayne North plane. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the unprofessional cast of me and Esquire. Uh, <laughs> I'm your host, Toby One. You may remember me from such things as the North American Dota scene. Thank you, Toffees. We didn't, we didn't miss that one. That was terrific. I love it. All right, let's get into it. Where's everyone dropping? And everyone's coming. <laughs> We're coming back again. Yeah, we are coming back down to the south. These guys are not going to be shifting north. We saw north, north, north in our qualifying rounds, but this time, at least. Oh. Two out of three games going to be oh. dropping us down the I'm south. actually so happy now. I, those waves were really sun. Yeah, we, 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 we shifted off of that. So, <laughs> you know, right. looking around the map, you we're, know, we're going to fry up from Zanpa. Exactly, right? Yeah. Frying pan, he's going to serve up some breakfast as he continues to rock through there. Your boy Dre, BenQ5, rolling off, trying Man. to get to their own location here in Alaska. That, that guy's got some swag. I like his style. He does, yeah. I, li I, I love his I like I like just a little bit of a shade he throws out in his teammates as well during the interview. It's like, you know what? Yeah, we're good. Maybe he's not that great. When he, when he decides to AWP, like, yeah. when he decides to snipe. He's an incredible snipe. sniper when he decides to be. Yeah. <laughs> but no, I mean, we saw it in yeah, game number two. Zampa's absolutely incredible. That flick shot was pretty crazy. Mm -hmm. But yeah, they're just going to continue up looting in this this area just to their hearts content at least no one going to be contesting them for the time being up here in this El Azahar position but the real story is going to be back in Los Leones where we have a multiple mm -hmm. teams going to be dropping M19 and 4AM going to be sharing that location yeah, I'm wondering uh, if anyone really wants to bail out of it like they did last time. These close combat scenarios are difficult to get the upper hand. We even saw Tempo Storm in round two. Like, they didn't want it. They just they just bailed out into an open field with a couple of hay bales. Like, I prefer this over the close combat fighting. There's just too many things that can possibly go wrong with bad trade-offs. So, like, at least 4 a.m. they can hold the northern side, wait for the circle shift. But this will take a very long time. It's still three and a half minutes before we even get the circle on the field, let alone the constriction time. So everyone's got a lot of time to just move around. That's why Enters have gone all the way north. They're almost up at uh, actually phase. Good stuff. Actually managed to reach the oasis. I'm still hoping for an oasis circle, but it seems we are just in the southern. We're in the great southern yeah. land. The that Oasis, is Miramar. It's a great spot. It's one of the newer spots to Miramar. We've seen it adjusted over the period of a few uh, few different patches, but it's, it's it's a nice spot. It's uh it's nice to have those northern circles. But I think at least for the mm -hmm. most part, the majority of our teams on the map are going to be liking what they're seeing. You know, I I just I just keep hearing about the Oasis. Mm -hmm. I I see it on the map, but I never see it in person. Looks like I a think it's it's place. actually the possible like real Oasis. It's a figment of my imagination. Ah yes, it just does not distance. exist because we never ever ever get there. Exactly. Phase though, like you mentioned just a second ago. They're going to have a wide rotation, at least a far rotation, up from that northern position, opting to loot here in the La Cobraria area. And, you know, we want to see FaZe do well, right? They've had a tough time trying do to we? make these trends. Do we really? Oh, well, well, do we want we? to see all of our teams play well, exactly. certainly. Exactly. There we go. Unbiased commentary. Yes. That's what we want to yeah, hear. We want to see all of our teams play well. I, I, we, I would like to see some good quality play from them. Absolutely. I if, mean, If that's know, rewarded with a position, sure. <laughs> Right, exactly. <laughs> Cloud9, our winners from game number two, going to be making their own rotation. And it uh, looks like a, sort of a, a fast a fast movement for them. Yeah. Get inside the circle, move nice and quick. Um, they will have to move through a little bit quicker than what they have. So they're in 2-2 two, two split. WTSG is already in the neighborhood. They'll be coming down as well. Um, and Vitality are the other ones who are holding the northern side of the circle. So as far as choke points go, uh, there seem to be two primary roads in through the north and the northwest side, and both of them look to be occupied as far as all the buildings, all the compounds around it. 
I'm interested like which team is going to have the biggest problem coming into the circle. Yeah, absolutely, because Method certainly going to be uh, poisoning themselves on that road as well. Liquid and Picado once again. But we do see some of the members of Method very split off from one another. Going to be on that eastern side of things. Ghost, though, Puerto mm -hmm. Parizo, we saw them jump <laughs> off the plane almost immediately. They like the ambient noises. Toby, you were telling me yeah. how you know they were ready to surf. Surf's up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, we're on holiday, right? That's the reason why we come to Ukraine. That's it's right. uh, it's for the it's for the wine. It's for the the steak and the steak. Yeah, the steak. Thank you very much. The steak. Uh, <laughs> but I like how you point out method. Like they are still doing this like this horizontal line kind of cross. X Chris. I don't know if he really wants to get into a battle with 4AM because he doesn't have friends near him. AT is nearby, but uh, he's still a bit of a drive away. So this is method trying to be as wide as they possibly can early on. But they did also, and we noticed um, in the earlier round, they did come in before this moment, and they did move further towards the west. They came closer towards Mole Man. Right. Crate going to be dropping down right here next to Vitality, as well as Cloud9. So Moody and Nerf going to be moving in off of that northern edge. And whoever picks this up is certainly going to be loving what they're getting, not just a level 3 kit, not just an 8 times, but also a ghillie suit to add into that. Yeah, I'm actually preferring the Grozer on, on, a, on a map like this. Hmm. It's, one yeah. of the, it's one of those weapons which, at close range, is really good. So coming around the, the, um, the close combat, you should always win that kind of engagement. But it's the fact that it can work with a four-time scope and you just get a nice, that range battle uh, without having to switch your weapons out. Especially so. given the central point of our circle, possibly might see us ending in Los Leones. I mean, D-Man was in here earlier in the day talking about how he loves these city endings here on Miramar, so we might see it. Okay, well, now. if D-Man loves it, I don't want it. Okay. So uh, <laughs> <laughs> we, we need to be polar opposite casters for this. So Los Leones, go get Wrecked. I want to go near Picardo. <laughs> um, I, want a, I want a better finish. Picardo oh and the gosh. mountain is nearby. We'll go for that. Cloud9 are making their movement down now. It's through the main road. This is Death Alley. They have Vitality on their east. They have Knights on their west. And they've got Liquid, who, well, they're not actually perfectly in control of Picardo because you've actually got Jeems as well as Sambi who have moved out for a little bit. So Knights, like, they're pulling up. They're looking for an opening. Yeah, and that's going to be up here on this hill. Just going to be able to look down on El Pozo and all of the surrounding areas, or rather, uh, Picado and all of the surrounding areas. Ghost going to be pulling up. We've got Allergen and Balak on top of this hill. Going to be looking around as well, using these elevated advantages to not only get information for their squad for the next rotations, but also lines of sight onto their enemy presences moving in around them. Blue Zone going to be pushing in now, though. Yeah. So this is when you'll bring in everyone from the northern side. FaZe are making an interesting run. Like, we're not, like, it's not an uncommon sight to see FaZe do a long, like, counterclockwise clockwise rotation. They will have some problems in El Pozo because MVP will be there very willing and waiting to greet them on their arrival. So they're a little bit more split up, so you won't lose everybody in the initial attack. And unless but FaZe continues on all, all down south along that far southeastern bend. Uh, they're they're not going to do that. Yeah. They, they, you'll have to... I suppose you get an open field that you can cut across in to get into, so that's okay. Not many rotations path though, or rotation paths, though, coming out of El Pozo, especially when MVP is going to be departing here shortly. Mm -hmm. Vitality, though, going to be moving around this graveyard area. We've, we've heard some poke shots start to come out, just basically people defending their compounds, yeah. trying to push off enemy presence from crashing on top. It's mainly Team Liquid getting involved. Uh, so Cloud9 drove straight past them, as well as like Vitality, who are making them move, too. There's FaZe doing their run. They did actually manage to take the road just far enough away from El Pozo that uh, there was no contest. MVP were too far away from them. So in these wonderful Marauders, just open it up, put the pedal to the metal and just hear that beautiful engine roll as Mole Man. All right, just to move very quickly on the bike. Maybe not exactly where he wants to go, however, because Cloud9 is already in position. They'll hear the bike coming in, and Moody's ready to fight. Turns around, Mole Man is not going to get knocked off just yet. He tries to cut a little bit further to his right. And away from the C9 gunfire so he can heal up. But Moody has that line but cannot connect on the shot. No, Moleman's certainly going to be thankful that he was able to make it out of there with his life reuniting with his teammates. Here comes the Knights, though. Going to be making their own rotation down south, trying to just find a better centralized area mm -hmm. in the circle. But this is not, the this is Vitality's back. area. Voxix turns around, takes it as well. Mistakes were made, but can they get out with all their lives? It looks like for now, Knights were able to at least hit a little bit of cover. But Vitality, they're playing King of the Hill. Absolutely, King of the Hill trying to continue to be the Kings of the Hill if they are able to take out the Knights. Sort of a little play on words right there. The Knights <laughs> trying to push up onto this, maybe. Sure. But I, I'm afraid <laughs> the drawbridge is up, sir. Uh, <laughs> retreat, retreat. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Okay, Monty Python. Run away, run away. <laughs> 
I love Monty Python. That's good. That's good. <laughs> Very good. Python. 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 Um, Over here, though, we got yeah. Jin G moving into this apartment. Sort of in a loose 2 2 split right there. We saw Ghost up on that hill. They haven't moved off of that in the time being method. We saw Moleman able to reunite with X Chris and AT. Going to be getting those meds going so early on in the game. We can see that Moleman probably had to get a few uh, few boosts from his teammate X Chris right there. Yeah, just bring him back up to full life. Yeah. The rest of the rotations, I'm actually like, interested to see. It's going to come in from the north as well as the west. So, uh, we actually come on board with MVP. They're the ones coming in from that northwest angle. It's pretty clear for them to come in, but it's, it's a Vanguard and FaZe are going to be clashing over on the west. As Enter's coming in through the north, they're going to bump into the backs of both WTSG as well as Knights, who are in this almost crossfire position. Vitality is battling against both C9 and Knights, and Liquid are shooting at anyone that wants to pop up their heads as well. So there's, there's a Vanguard cutting through. They're going to take the Divine Place, the Churchill, yeah, they're going to be holding this Churchill, and if FaZe continues to rotate in, this is going to be exactly the vantage point that Avenger will want to have to look down on top of FaZe and try to get some shots off. FaZe looks like they're going to be stopping here in the Chumacera area for the time being, just sort of waiting for this next circle shift. Mm -hmm. But, you know, we don't know if that's going to play in favor for them unless it ends up shifting over to the western side of things. I'm liking this from WTSG. They are making their way up the hill as much as they can. There's a small compound to the northeast of Los Leones, which they can just hold up in and then see where the circle moves. We will have that shift in just just a bit, and then players can make a better choice. Our first knock is going to be Cloud9 Moody. Yeah, one of our teams from Los Leones, M19, having sent two players out. Bachelor and Constantine going to be pushing up a little bit north, now riding the edge of the second circle. The second circle, hard shifting all the way down to the south, and Moody's going to be our first blood of game number three. Farewell, Moody. That is uh, one beautiful ragdog sprawl, uh, and I love the hot pants. Looks real, real nice. So Los Leones. It's becoming more of a possible. We may have the D-Man circle uh, as uh, everyone is shifting. A long run around the side. FaZe are going to do their long rotation as well. WTSG already on the move. They can hold the northeast side, but they need to move in quickly because Tempo Storm as well as Entis are coming in behind them. This is the road where we ended round two, where WTSG had a great position on this hill. Choice is, do they try and gatekeep? Do they take the same position? Yeah, if they stop right here and if Tempo Storm does... Oh, Tempo Storm is actually going to continue down along this dirt road, meeting up with Maluk around that eastern side of things, but certainly OGN behind them has to make that exact same trek, and whether or not they're going to cut into that northeastern side of the circle, we'll have to wait and see. We'll certainly welcome to South George in a position to be a, an extreme threat mm -hmm. for those squads trying to do so. Knights going to yeah, be bombing that, in as well. That's a road vehicle, Kramer. A road, like a road warrior, not a uh, hill warrior, or else it would be change to the name. The dice aren't supposed to be that chaotic, you know? <laughs> yeah, if, if the dice go the wrong way up, you know there's something wrong with your car. <laughs> yeah, we had a quick look look, look towards uh, Genji as well just previously. They are in a very nice position to the southeast of uh, Los Siona, so they're going to be feeling very happy with their position. Method a force to go into town, as it looks like M19 having a couple of problems as Hypoc. That's this rogue Optic player. Everyone else from Optic have already gone on, on top of the hill. So they got, they're going to get a better angle to look down onto the M19 players. Yeah, we saw M19 in that 2-2 split just about a minute ago, but as soon as that circle shifted down south, they took Bachelin, they took Constantine, and immediately brought them back in to the centralized area on the circle where they were able to kind of hold mm -hmm. on to this position and look around. Ghost going to be favored, at least with this crate, going to be picking up an M249 in that yep. full level 3 kit. It is going on to Balak this time. And they want to be using that for Entus who are coming in from the eastern side. So Ghost have managed to establish themselves as probably the most, almost most southern team of Vanguard will contest them for this as well. But Entis are going to be coming up the road right next to them. And this will give that opportunity for fire. And Knights are going to back up behind them. It's going to be bumper to bumper traffic coming down the eastern road. And it looks like Entis are going a little bit further down. They don't even want to come in straight away. They'll have to burn through the blue a little bit. But they'll be able to get all the way through the south and actually claim that most southern team award. Yeah, that's a really good decision from Entis, especially given the fact that this was a hard shift down to the south. These guys are going to be betting on the fact that no teams have made it through that cluster of squads in that Las Leonas and surrounding areas, and they're going to be pretty much right on this, except for the fact mm -hmm. that FaZe also made the exact oh. same rotation on the western side of things. Yeah, I'm looking at my map screen, and they're just like, they're, they're nudging up through the bottom of the, of the, of the map, saying, hello. But yeah, there's that eastern road that we're talking about. So Ghost... They at least hold the compound quite securely. And Knights are doing the same kind of run. Kramer and Vox are going in pretty early on. Their, uh, their replacement, their, their uh, fellow teammates, however, are a long, long way behind this. And I think it's going to be Kramer and Vox who are going to run into the Entis gunfire. 
Texas and Drano might be able to avoid it. Actually, they're pulling up early. They, uh, they must have seen Entis moving. Yeah, absolutely. They know that there are going to be threats presenting themselves. I think they were driving almost maybe a few hundred meters behind them, possibly saw the cars going through. So a smart move from the Knights to recognize that and not continue to push on as the blue zone continues to shrink on circle number two. But back here in Los Leones, <laughs> M19 continuing to try to put out some shots. We can see high pop from Optic just trying to hide behind these warehouses for the time being. Yeah, they're, uh, they're taking fire from multiple sides. So you got Optic up on the hill, but it's Liquid who are also from the south side having a battle into M19. So they don't really have a comfortable side to be on, and they're a long way out, so getting that kill shot and the actual kill is very difficult from this range. They can only just chip away at the armor as uh, K-Mine, well, uh, no, mm, mm. more vehicle casualties, but uh, it won't be a full kill, thank Nerf the vehicles. Uh, maybe that's what nerf Nerf the vehicles, nine, buff you know? the vehicles. Yeah. They're the best bullets in the game. <laughs> Oh, I see your pun. Yeah. Oh, that's 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 that's, oh. that's 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 not funny. I mean, hey. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyways, at least he was able to be picked up by his teammates, so they're going to be continuing on. We saw Moody drop out early. Cloud Nine only going to be working with three players, continuing from this point onwards. OGN going to be rotating in a little bit further into the circle as mm. the blue zone is almost done with its collapse. Sixty-three players left alive. Let's condense, and we are going center, center, center. Everything is at the south of Los Leones with a little bit of the city still, well actually majority of the city still left inside. There's a pull phase closer to a, to a Vanga. Entis is already making their move as well. So finally, the contest will begin. Gems versus a pole. IPOC on top of this massive container, going to be drawing fire from Constantine and the rest of M19 as he was taking some shots at Liquid, pushing up, just trying to send them off on their own way, trying to push them off of this location. It didn't work. Yeah, of course, Liquid knew that M19 were going to be up here. They, they couldn't make the straight run up without risking their lives, but it gets them inside the circle. Quite nicely positioned, in fact, to see where the next shift will come. As we watch Ghost run the eastern side, Tempo Storm making their way in right now. Maluk is already in where he is on the screen. But Ghost, they're copping some fire from the side. Not exactly what they want to be involved in. Yeah, Optic seems to have spotted out Ghost, who is looking down in Tempo Storm's direction. So all, th or at least three out of our four North American teams going to be engaged in firefights. And that's sort of been a story that we've seen played out. European teams engaging on one another in massive third and fourth party engagements. And M19 and Liquid still kind of facing off here directly south of Los Leones. Now that's the beautiful thing. You throw everyone on one map, there are no borders. It's just team on team action. As Knights, well, they bumped into Tempo Storm in the, uh, in the southeast. The restriction is on the way as Knights are just trying to get their drive on. Ben Q actually being knocked out. So it's Balak who gets the hit out. So Ghost once again becoming the spoilers and they actually get the final knockout too. Yeah, very significant for Ghost to have picked that up right now, but they oh. have diverted their attention over towards the Knights, trying to put out some damage on these guys crashing into the compound. Texas separated from the rest of his squad mm -hmm. across the road, wide in the open, and for him to get back to his teammates, it's going to be a very, very tough transition. Knights can still be okay with this. Like, they were able to get inside the circle. They're not on any kind of pressure to instantly move, and it's Ghost who are being pressured from the eastern side. Tempo Storm coming in very close onto them. As we see Entis make their way into, they control the south side, pretty close towards the uh, the care package with the Grozer. Balak with another connection, this time onto the Knights. It was Tempo Storm originally, but he has diverted his attention. But I think with those shots coming out from Zampa, Ghost is now going to have to be worried about the impending threat from your boy Dre and Zampa. Zampa taking a little bit of damage in return, going to be popping prone, get the boost going, recover that HP, and now get the peaks. That's such a hard thing for Tempo Storm to push. Like, okay, yeah, Knights getting knocked out too, but you know there's still more pressure to come. At least we definitely know it. Welcome to South George. They're coming in from the east, so this is about to become a full cluster buck. You've got Tempo Storm, Ghost, and Knights practically standing on each other's toes, and then Welcome to St. George, you're going to try and drive a wedge right through the middle of it. The circle, it's coming in one minute until everyone has to stand on top of each other properly. Yeah, certainly looking at the map, and you can sort of see the dichotomy between these teams. Some of them, half of them opting for this Los Leones finish, the other half going extremely far south, trying to ride these edges, almost hoping that there are not going to be a large concentration of teams, but with so many of these teams having the exact same idea idea rather we're, we're starting to see that split we're starting to see everyone, these teams roll up on one another everyone from tempo storm is looking the wrong way they're actually looking towards ghost who are taking the fire wtsg i don't know if that was actually were they popping us oh like, that's a grenade uh, okay that may make tempo storm turn their attention your boy dre he's on the hillside yeah he turns his attention around miracu already getting the knock onto your boy dre as well as maluk so wtsg that's that we're just talking about zampa just wants to get the hell out of here taking shots, but still surviving. 
Maybe not for much longer, however. Genji have an angle. He'll hit that deck, but Larson's there. And she has Gaxi, does the job. Tempo Storm eliminated in 16th position, but now it's WTSG. Just because they get the kill onto Tempo Storm doesn't make the position any better for them. Yeah, you might be putting out damage, but you are giving out a lot of information to the other teams in the area. And we talked about it, 63 players alive, all 16 teams going into this circle. Uh, that is a lot, a lot of players that are going to be packed into this very small play area with the circle now mm -hmm. shifting over to the southeastern side of our previous circle. A lot of movement going to be coming off of that eastern edge. It looks like the, fi the game finally likes Team Liquid. Fifth position for them in the group is just uh, not enough. So the circle is on them as on a and Jeems is already moving a little bit faster to that southwestern compound while the rest of Liquid M19 MVP you see him on your screen right now they have to come a little bit further in not too far they are still inside the circle the bigger contest is Knights making the run of the cars and is just opening up they need a couple of extra hits Vosik will be the first one to be knocked out by Yak in fact actually killed off as well and with those shots coming out from Entis right now, they're going to be sitting Knights almost directly into either Ghost or Optic. The crossfire will be coming out from these oh. two squads as they just try to get out of dodge. Ah, Sion Jang gets the knock. Tex is in real, real trouble. Getting chipped, getting chipped, and goodbye. Stolen. McCoy actually stole him. All right, well, that's an easy, that's an easy seven points for Ghost. This is what you expected. I mean, putting out so much pressure from Entis and Ghost was able to just capitalize on the Knights driving almost directly into them. Looks like Krama and Draydon were able to rotate a little bit off to the west of this engagement and get to safety for the oh, time that being. That grenade would be real nice from looking. Stab. No! Doesn't actually get method. They got inside the compound in time. Stab wants to open up with the AK. Again, can't find the line. Starts prepping the grenade, looking for the long toss. We come back with Ghost. Who are mopping up Gaxi. WTSG still tossling for that, that position on the southeast corner, but just can't claim it. Ghost, they have the lines, but here's that C9 method. Battle going out. Everyone's being knocked out. Nerf is at least getting picked up for the moment. Rafi and Extris. Not finding that moment. Stab was taken out totally. This engagement almost at a standstill as both of these squads are trying to recover off of this and try to reset the fight. Able to get the res on a nerf, but the grenades are keep coming in. Nerf Ooh. heard the grenade, pushed off from it a little bit off to the left of this cylinder. Dropped down to about 10% HP. K-Mine, though, coming on a nice lane. He would have been in more trouble if that nade came off the top of the container, but it doesn't happen. Genji, more issues as well as for forever able to bring down Wicked. Method, this battle has to finally end. WTSG, their remaining players. Still on the run up the mountain. They've got Ghost coming up on their left flank. Larson, he can outrun the circle at least, but that's that M249 of McCoy he wants to put to work. Yeah, but they are going for the run, but this is just a horrendous position. They have to go hard west or else they will not be able to outrun the circle. But the four teams contesting for the exact same position. A fantastic nade from Nerf. At least able to keep this contest going between Method as well as C9. This hill is drawing so many different squads to it. We saw that there were many different squads, at least in the area. But with this next circle, everyone is trying to get this oh. elevated advantage. McCoy. Trying to get this information out. McCoy's got the M249 prep. Just trying to get the information that he knows. He was shooting at Welcome to South George just a minute ago. He knows they are on this hill somewhere. Now, Van Gogh is able to eliminate Enters in the meantime. They control the southern part of the circle as Vitality. They're the ones who are the gatekeepers. They hold the eastern side. They've got help from Optic on that southeast. And Ghost, it is the worst position that they could be in. There's no way to get out. They're tanking up the blue. And they cannot get past the small cart it's the little cop that couldn't. Yeah, Vitality just really in this loose split. They've got all of their members kind of spread out, just looking into the blue where all of these teams are just trying to make their way out. 4 a.m., welcome to South George, Ghost Gaming. Balak was knocked. Turtle going to be trying to get that res right now. We can see just how hard this blue is starting to chunk. Larson out in the distance, going to be trying to spam those first aids, trying to make his way in. They've got almost no time as well. Like The chunking is hard, but in 47 seconds, the circle's going to come in closer. Jazza... Finding heads everywhere. It's just who can clean up the kills. Seven points apiece, 4 a.m. At least they have the edge. They're so close to Vitality. If Vitality knew, they would look down the edge and just claim themselves two very quick kills. And does Monkey know? Forever in CPT, they're there to survive. Cloud9 will not, however. K-Mine, the last one who knocked out by MVP. As Avenger versus Optic, the battle for the southeast corner is alive. Unlike Avenga, one last player to keep the contest going. Got 12 teams left 
33 players going to be alive as Optic continues to try to wrap around this compound, trying to spot out the remaining members of a Vanguard. Nuktiv going to be dropped down here into the shack, just trying to peek, trying to find if he can make a safe entryway in. He needs to act quick, though, because some other threats are going to be presenting themselves from this mm -hmm. southern edge if the Knights don't continue to opt around that eastern flank. But with this next circle shifting so far over to the west, we have some other teams that need to worry about their own transition. As we see, welcome to South George, <laughs> drop down and eliminated in 12th position as yeah. Larson goes out to the blue zone. They could never find a way in. They try, they found the buggy, but uh, could not find enough speed. So that center circle where M19 and Liquid have the best position. Method has managed to get the corner on the, on the northeast. As you watch 4AM, they're running the blue, but in front of him is Loki. To the south is Vitality. This is going to get real clustered real quick, and Method will be the ones to capitalize on the position. There is the initiation, and goodbye Loki. There has been many lies claimed around that little, little encampment. Yeah, there certainly have been. That the spot in particular has been an absolute graveyard. And as the Blue Zone will be pushing in, we're starting to see the final rotations try to come out from 4 a.m. Vitality still <laughs> holding off any type of push coming off of that northeastern side. Back down here, though, to the southeast at Vanguard and Optic still trying to square off in this. Liquid being in a dominant position as well to hold off a Nuktus push. Yeah, and they're able to get the knock onto Gem T2, so phase are a little bit more like cautious about pushing forward. This method position actually doesn't look as good as you think it may be. 4 a.m. They're trying to do the long run through, but CPT could not tank the circle for that long. And it looks like Forever is just posturing for position. But Vitality, they've got a rock. They've actually got cover to close the distance into method. And we can have a real great contest for this compound. Yeah, we had previously seen in that method compound Liquid inhabiting it. But once that circle ship came out, <laughs> they went immediately over into the west, into that warehouse. Forever, he's going to be going down and out. He knew that that was his time, and so he put a little spray into the wall. Sure. Accuracy counted, doesn't at least. Like, we got no stats on that one, but Wacky that would have... Jackie recoil video coming yeah, out right there. Would have messed with it a little bit. Well, Vitality, the circle is there, and uh, Method in the better position. Vitality have to push over. They still want to have this long battle. They have a great line of fire from Monkey looking over towards Optic. Kramer actually killed off by the circle as well. Liquid and Phase. Kind of locked in a tussle as Phaser trying to rotate now clockwise up the edge of the circle into whatever cover they can away from Liquid's line of fire. Yeah, Phase has really just been stuck in transition after transition. No circle has played in their favor at all. And they're going to be feeling the brunt of the action coming out of that Liquid warehouse for the time being. MVP going to be rotating into that northwestern Here side Here comes as that well. push we're talking about. Vitality men that open up. They realize there's neighbors on their doorstep. But they don't want to be neighbors anymore. They want to own their house. Method. Under Siege. Raffi looking around that corner, just trying to get these peaks out as the damage continues to rain down on top of Vitality. Yeah, they needed to actually win these kind of fights. Method, they are standing up, and Vitality totally eliminated. Method holds strong, and they keep all of their players up. More important for them. As the live rankings, you can see Method in that second position. They are very happy with their positioning, especially considering Vitality are number one. I was incredibly worried about Vitality because they were taking some shots down to the south directly on top of the Knights, right next to Method's position. Method knew that there was going to be a squad pushing off of that eastern edge, and all they had to do was prep for it, executing off of that nicely. MVP right on top of phase. The grenades fly out. Young Tanny's in a lot of trouble. That nade is almost on top of him. There's Mixie. They're split up in this 2-1. MVP bring in more friends. Mixie can't get the line of fire. He needs more friends. And he's actually got a gem teeth coming up behind him. So MVP can get pinned pretty hard, but they've managed to at least reach the compound. That's the advantage they have. So much pressure being thrown out from both of these teams, just trying to flush the other out of their previous position, trying to get some sort of advantage onto the other. It looks like for the time being, though, MVP will be holding it as they have made their way in to that northwestern side of the circle. Mixie trying to wrap around the flank, trying to get these shots and information out to the remaining three members of FaZe who have Ooh. now made their own way in. Young Tan. Looking for the nade. It looks like it's on a good line. However, it's a little too short. Cooked for just a little too long. Nibs fa fuzz face, but FaZe, they'll come back together. They uh, stop with this Florida. And instead, play around the defilade. A bit of a standstill right now, and FaZe is going to take this opportunity to rotate. But unfortunately, it is directly into Team Liquid. Yeah, but they have the Valley. Liquid will see him for a little bit, but there's some defilade to work with. Fuzz Phase will get knocked out. He was a little bit further behind as Knights mop up the rest of what was left of Optic. And FaZe, they're pushing. 
FaZe is pushing. They want this. They know exactly Jeez. what has come out. Scoom was able to get that mini 14 shot on the Fuzz Face, oh. reducing them to just three members remaining. What do you do here, FaZe? MVP has realized that FaZe has pushed off, so they push up. They look for their opening. The best thing that can happen to FaZe right now is Liquid as well as MVP start to engage, but it does not happen. MVP had the line of fire onto both with no real problems. Scoom Sandy was actually killed off, however. Woo! The brothers are going at it right now. They were able to get a knock on one another, so you know that's a little bit of rivalry that they might be dealing with when they get home. Well, like, and yeah, <laughs> hopefully they still don't live with their parents at home. <laughs> Come on, we're they all can share an apartment. We're you know? all we're all grown men right now. Yep, depends how close they are as brothers. That's right. Exactly. Sure. Exactly. They're uh, twins as well. So well, Li Liquid have managed to at least hold the line. Three players up, fully meted. Mixie has the smoke to give him some cover. Doesn't really have a lot because those boards are just so separated. The circle is on top of M19. Everyone apart from M19 must move. Method's edge of the compound will remain in, but this is now where the suicide runs begin. Jeems getting clipped around the edge by MVP. They want to hold the line. They're looking for more kills. They've only claimed two so far in this round. And this is the point, they've got so many lines of fire, and the circle is pushing Mixie out. He's got no other choice, it's fight or die. And right now he's choosing fight and die. Mixie's just trying to get a quick knock on one of these players from MB3, trying to push them off as far as possible, not going to be able to do so, and FaZe is going to be eliminated in oh, seventh place as the Blue Zone continues to shrink. That last remaining player from Avanga, Liquid are running around the back of him for the moment. Radon's also been playing a very, very stealth game on the east, southeastern side of the circle. But this is open areas. Vehicles exploding, the grenades from MVP, they're pushing. They want the kill from Liquid. Inactive. Oh, it's a cheap seven points. No! He got took a lot of fire. It was it was actually. Now it's Alpaca's nade that was able to reach through and kill off James and Otan doing the work. MVP, they are more than capitalizing on this situation. Yeah, Young Tan gonna be wrapping around, almost dropping on top of Ibiza and Samty. Ops to reunite back around the western side with his teammates. And Method now pushing in from this northern side. Method has just been hanging out in these cement buildings. They've had no care in the world for any of these engagements popping off on the southern side of things. Yep. M19 would love to get in some of these engagements. Position is one thing, but zero kills is another. Method, they're pushing their way through. Example, maybe seen in just a second around the corner of the barrel at the boxes he's hiding at. The Method, they play the cover. They play the edge of the compound as Liquid play smoke game. Yeah, I mean... If there's anything we know about Liquid, and specifically Ibiza, they like the smoke. One of his most notorious plays in his PUBG career <laughs> involving smoke coming off of that PGI tournament. But around the map, we're still trying to see these teams work their way in. Everything has sort of stalled itself out as the snakes are coming out. Everyone trying to just inch their way in closer and closer without giving up too much in the process. MVP has made their way up to this little bit of defilade right to the south of this warehouse mm -hmm. where M19 has been inhabiting for at least <laughs> the better part of this late game. Yeah, and it's hard for M19 to come out and fight. He, they know that that there's still a lot of lines of fire av available for both Liquid as well as MVP. Like uh, taking the taking the headshot line, pop that head over the top of the of the ridge line. You know what MVP is going to hit? It ain't the body. The method need to also move in a little bit. They're snaking up the side and you make some quick runs. Luckily for them, M19 a little bit more distracted. MVP are in a bit of a ditch, but now method. There's that push up. Example. Knows he's being sieged on. Drayton can do it for this very slow crawl. And Method are not looking towards him. They don't care about him. Maybe Extras is going to check every now and then. But for now, they need to focus on the clear, clearer problem, which is M19 inside the warehouse. Yeah, example, and his teammate sort of pushed up at the northern side of this warehouse while their remaining teammate, the third teammate of this squad, M19, is sort of watching both of those players' backs. You can tell oh. that the strategy is being employed. Drayden can be able to sneak in through this smoke, trying to secure a position in this circle for the Knights, oh, but he's Chris. almost spotted out by Xchris. He sees Drayden. The push is also coming in from Liquid, in from the side, but it's Xchris who will be taking out Drayden. They're now liquid. Pop their heads up. They realize they can't run in that way. The one they were hunting. But then it's MVP in a defilade position in perfect cover. It is going to be a slaughter fest on Team Liquid. Ibiza has nowhere to really go. Far from proning and staying inside the circle. Hoping everyone else gets distracted. Method. They begin their push. MVP is opening up too. 
once again we find ourselves in the final circle of the game 20 seconds until this blue zone will be fully collapsing in on itself so this is where all of the action is going to come out it is really up to one of these teams to get the dominant lines of sights on this entire area and that's who's going to be walking away with our chicken and it's the southeast corner of the compound that's where they have to move m19 no one really has power here it'll force mvp out of their death late or force m19 out of the compound and they'll force them even closer as example oh we need to hit that more man, so low on life. He'll get the first aid off. Example, does he want to push it? He feels like he connected pretty hard. AT as well won't get through. And now the problem is MVP. They are poking their heads up. They found the angle and they found example. You give MVP this window. They heard the opportunity. They are going to capitalize <laughs> on it. And just like this, Pang is going to be dropping threats they on top of example and the rest of M19. They save method. They actually save method in so mm -hmm. such a big way. And you wonder how long it's going to be before a Beatser is able to do something very, very similar to M19. The circle condenses. 115 left. AT able to find that angle onto a lead player, and everything is going horribly. Here's Constantine, the only player left for M19. He was the back position player, trying to watch the flanks of both of his two advanced members on his squad. Goodbye, but Liquid. it is going to be extremely tough. Liquid wiped out. MVP continues to try to siege onto this warehouse. Yeah, they've got such great lines through the doors in no real risk at all. It's like our Packer is actually crawling forward, trying to get some more information for MVP to work with. X Chris is in the corner, but there's not many people who are still left up really fighting. Everyone else is ticking. It actually looks like a 1-1 one, one and a 3 left over. No, 1-1 one, one, one and a 2. Four left alive. Do the math, Toby. As there's your run. X Chris waiting on the corner, but they look in and knock him down. And that is it. MVP. People were looking for them to step up. Yeah, that's exactly the win that we expected to come out of MVP after their dominant performance in our qualifying round right before this final stage took off. Yeah, that was a, that was a rough round against a Liquid got for M19, who looked like they had the better position. It just wasn't to be the case. Too much crossfire coming in for both Method as well as MVP, and they're the ones who take first and second position. Good kill scores as well for both of the top two. That's going to really bump them up in the leaderboard. Certainly 10 kills for Method. Method being very consistent so far throughout the day, and that's exactly what you need in these lengthy PUBG tournaments. Consistency. Yeah. <laughs> Consistency is the way to go. Now, where is FaZe? Um, <laughs> where, oh, where are they? <laughs> there they are. They, they, they still got seventh. One kill for them. I feel like every single time they're running into a horrible position. Exactly. Miramar has been punishing, especially in round one round.